Welcome to an example on how to solve a linear first order differential equation using an integrating factor. An integrating factor is a function that we multiply both sides of the differential equation by to make solving the differential equation much easier. But the first step is to make sure the differential equation is in the correct form. The correct form is the form dy dt plus p of t times y equals f of t. So comparing this form to the given differential equation, notice how the given differential equation is in the correct form. Notice how the function p of t would be negative three divided by t. That's important to recognize because we need to find p of t before we can find the integrating factor. Step two, the integrating factor is equal to mu of t equals e raised to the power of the integral of p of t dt. So in this case, your integrating factor mu of t is equal to e raised to the power of the integral of, again, p of t is negative three divided by t, and we have dt. Well, the integral of negative three divided by t dt equals negative three natural log absolute value of t. So we'd have e raised to the power of negative three natural log absolute value of t. We leave off the constant of integration when finding mu of t. But now we want to simplify this. So for the first step, we'll apply the power property of logarithms where we can take the negative three here and move it to the exponent position on the t. So this is equal to e raised to the power of natural log absolute value of t raised to the power of negative three. This simplifies further. First, we're told t is greater than zero, so we can drop the absolute value. And then because we have base e here and the exponent is natural log, which is log base e, because these bases are the same, this simplifies very nicely to t raised to the power of negative three, which is the integrating factor. So for the next step, we multiply both sides of the equation by mu of t. And therefore, the equation will be in this form here. So we'd have t to the negative three dy dt minus three divided by t times t to the negative three times y equals t to the negative three times t to the fifth. Now let's go ahead and simplify. We have t to the negative three dy dt minus three divided by t is the same as three times t to the negative one. t to the negative one times t to the negative three is t to the negative four. So we have minus three t to the negative four y equals, here where we multiply, we add the exponents. Negative three plus five is two. So we have t to the second on the right. Now for step four, the left side of this equation is now the derivative of the product of mu of t and y. Meaning this difference is equal to the derivative with respect to t of, again, mu of t is t to the negative three and then we have times y. And of course we can check this. To find this derivative, we'd apply the product rule, where we'd have the first function, t to the negative three, times the root of y with respect to t, which is dy dt, and then we'd have plus the second function, which is y, times the derivative of t to the negative three with respect to t, which would be negative three t to the negative four. So this does verify this difference is the derivative of this product. And our last step is to integrate both sides of this equation and then solve for y. So we'd have the integral of the derivative with respect to t of t to the negative three y dt equals the integral of t squared dt. Let's continue on the next slide. On the left side, the integral and the derivative undo each other and therefore we're just left with t to the negative three y we would have a constant of integration, but we'll also have one on the right side, so we'll combine them and put them on the right. So this is equal to the integral of t squared with respect to t would be t to the third divided by three or one third t to the third plus c. And now to solve for y, we would divide both sides of the equation by t to the negative three. And now simplifying, we have just y on the left or y of t. On the right we have one third and then t cubed divided by t to the negative three is equal to t raised to the power of three minus negative three, which equals t to the sixth. 
So we have one third two to the sixth. And then c divided by two to the negative three is equal to c t to the third. By moving this up to the numerator, it changes the sign of the exponent. This is the general solution to the given linear first order differential equation. I hope you found this helpful.